our new Toro Power Max 8260XE. This is a beautiful snowblower. I highly recommend it. This particular model comes with the 250cc Briggs and Stratton four stroke engine. It has 11.5 foot pounds of gross torque. That's how they measure that. What I love about this engine is it's regular gasoline and you do have to put oil in the engine just like you do a car. The nice thing about this engine is it gives you this dipstick where you can check and add your oil right there nice and easy. You don't have to mess around with these little tiny caps that you do on some lawnmower engines. Kind of a pain in the butt there. Also has an oil drain right here. I'm going to drain the oil. Uh, some of the more remarkable features about this Toro model very, very durable, thick metal chassis. Very thick. I love that. This feature right here, this side welded metal plate, Toro is the only snowblower that does that. Most of them just have that round bell shaped thing in there where the auger resides, not making the front unit here very rigid. These, they're welded on both sides. Very thick heavy, heavy duty. Now some people might have a problem with all this plastic. Well, the only thing I gotta say about that is, is we live in a polytech world. And there's advantages to plastic. Number one, it won't scratch, chip, and rust. Number two, it's lighter. This snow blower is heavy already. If all this plastic were metal, it'd be uh, even heavier. I've seen older tor snow blowers that have all this stuff in metal and it's all rusted, crappy looking, hard to fix, make it look new. This stuff will never do that. Uh, it's guaranteed. I'm not exactly sure what the time period is, but it's reasonable. It generally doesn't crack. This stuff has been field tested, researched in extreme temperatures, and it holds up great. Another benefit is, is that it's non-stick, very slick in there. And that snow doesn't clog in that chute, it shoots right out. Another feature that prevents clogging on this particular model is this chute right here. The auger, the secondary auger in here is metered to allow a certain amount of snow to come out this chute. All the additional snow goes back through this chute and then back down into the main auger, which really keeps this chute clear and keeps it flowing nicely. And the fact that they, they can do all this unique molding and channeling with this plastic is really quite ingenious, I think. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I love the snowblower, it's just amazing. Another cool feature of the Toro PowerMax series of snowblowers is the wonderful little joystick system they have incorporated up here on the dash panel that allows you, by simply pulling this little trigger mechanism on the fly, positioning your snow. Not only in a rotisserie axis, but in a, a vertical one too. You can throw it high or low. You don't have to get out in front of that snowboard and leave this cockpit area at all. You can do everything right from here. That is just phenomenal to me, and it's just so smooth. Um, they do say that, some say that all this apparatus here is a bit clunky. But it's solid. I mean, it's heavy duty. Nice bevel gear construction under here to make that possible. Uh, a couple cables. Pretty simple design, but robust. Very strong and just effortless to, uh, to run that. Uh, gosh, I just can't say enough about this snowblower. Excellent, high quality, powerful, high torque Briggs & Stratton engine. You just can't beat it. This model comes with a headlight. This model sells for about $1,300. A little less in some places. Uh, there is a model right under it called the the 726. It does not have the headlight and it doesn't have a very unique feature that this snowblower has is, is you notice these little triggers back here. If you want to turn right, pulling this trigger when you're running disengages the power propel on that wheel and then vice versa for this trigger over here. That's a unique feature because it's kind of like power steering much like a skid loader. And it just makes handling a couple hundred pound machine like this pretty effortless. Uh, I love that. Uh, man, it just, you hold that in, this thing pivots on a dime. It's like a skid loader. It's phenomenal. I can't say enough about this snowblower. Uh, there's six forward speeds, two reverse speeds, 
here on the uh, on the engine clutch mechanism. Pretty awesome. Uh, this handle here is for the power. This handle here is for the auger. If you put the auger down and then power it up, you can let go of the auger. It stays locked down, so you have your other hand free to run other uh, mechanisms and devices on the snow blower for your snow removal positioning. And the minute you let go of this one for the drivetrain, the auger one pops up automatically as a safety feature. Pretty cool stuff. Again, awesome snow blowers Toro's putting out right now. As far as I'm concerned, some of the best in the industry. Stay tuned for more cool reviews.